Welcome ladies and gentlemen. I want to appreciate you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Gold scam as the case of an Amadi is taking another new twist. As the High Court came out and freezing bank accounts of Judiciary Chief Registrar An Amadi Justice Alfred Mabea says there is no or nothing to show that An Amadi benefited from the gold scam transaction. When I was just looking this case, this has come out to court many attentions across the Republic of Kenya. As expected, is not the reality that we are seen towards handling the case of the registrar of court and Amadi when there was allegation that she involved herself with her son towards the gold scam. But I want to say simple thing. This government, when they were just taking over from Uhuru Kenyatta, I realized something that was going to be a crisis when it comes to the judiciary. Why am I saying that? It is so painful under this regime when these institutions that should be independent is now showing an indication of siege as different repercussions awaiting Kenyans at the same time when you look at an ordinary Kenyan is being presented before the court, you will find that they are being handled ruthlessly as a big fish and not handled the way Komon Monenchi is being handled. Judiciary is under siege as also, there is an indication yesterday where Martha Comey said that they were going to investigate and vet these clerks and office messengers who are assisting them when it comes to their work, that those are the only people who are corrupt, but not judges. When I was looking this case of Anne Amadi, is bringing a new twist as the reality that we were expecting is not coming out. Yes, through the filing um, a petition to unfreeze her account, that is Anne Amadi herself, maybe according to the ruling and also the judgment, the account that has been uh, unfreezed Maybe, according to the investigation, there's someone that is not coming out to tell us the truth. What happened? Is there any connection between Ann Amadi, her son, with the gold scandal or case? Because it will be so shocking as we Kenyans, we literally believe and trust the courts or rather the judiciary, but when you look at the way they're handling some cases, so-called big fish, they usually not put more pressure and handle them ruthlessly. But when it comes to several cases that has been there, you will find there's a very critical issue that and when you look at some kind of decisions and the position of an Amadi and that of Kome are needed to be investigated. Because I saw someone going to court 
to make an Ahmadi who is the registrar who is the registrar of the judiciary to step aside for an investigation an Ahmadi has not stepped aside for investigation when I saw that Justice Alfred Mabea says that there is nothing to show that she benefited from this transaction, what kind of mechanism or methods or kind of scenarios that we believe that Aunt Amadi never involved him herself rather from this gold scam case. Because it is so painful to look at these cases being mishandled as the way we were expecting because it is not our prayer that Anna Madi to be sacked but what we were looking for is that when this news came in we realized and we knew that justice was not going to prevail here why because we are being told that big fish are not being handled the way small fish are being handled in this Republic of Kenya because they have money, the common monarchy does not have money, you will remain there. Your case will even have 10 years, 7 years, 5 years, 2 years, without even finalizing. And when you look at even some cases, they are so simple. So, when you look at them the way they are reasoning, Perhaps, maybe, maybe let us say that Martha Kome said that there is no resources. Now, you, you are saying that there is no resources. Some cases of big fish are being finalized faster. The files are being closed. And the case is being withdrawn. That is what we are seeing. So there is no trust of common Mwanainchi towards the judiciary. Because that kind of being independent is not there. We are looking at their activities as if it is favoring them only, not common monarchy. So we as Kenyans, who are common in nature, you cannot have your way in the courts. You will find that if you have even unreasonable even case, you will find that you will finish even 10 years, You've squandered your resources. You've used your resources. You are reaching at a point that even you don't have resources to continue funding your cases. And that is why you will find that some cases are not being finalized because the owners of the cases does not have the ability to fund the cases. So what is my message in short is that this gold scam case between Anna Madi, her son, and the foreigners, it is something that we are not being told here. That several things that are being hidden that we don't know, we are not aware of, and that is what we are seeing. So this is just a kind of the case has just gone like that. He may end at two two. So this government, under Ruto's regime, we never expected that these institutions were going to be independent. And one key requirement is that let us avoid hypocrisy. Unfortunately, it is key attribute of this regime. That is it. It is a very, unfortunately, key attribute of this regime. You like it, you don't like it. So the pressures that we are having might be very unfortunate as the case is being finalized. Anna Madi is going to be free. The way her accounts has already been unfreezed, then we don't have any expectation. What we are just waiting for is that the file to be closed, the case to be thrown away. And that is what we are going to see as days are going by. But again, they must be very keen towards handling the cases of common monarchy or else then we believe that there is no justice in the judiciary 
If anomaly, the case can be finalized, or rather will be finalized just simple as that, then we must question. Is it that judiciary is independent or not? Whatever, drop your opinion at the comment section below. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.